I used to sneer at other churches who use stock photos on their websites until I discovered the reason why you have to do it. I was the pastor of a struggling contemporary worship service called Life Sign, and I was racking my brain trying to think of how we could attract more people. And then I saw my son breakdancing in the aisle during our last praise song. It wasn't exactly breakdancing. It was spinning around in circles and rolling on the ground and walking like a robot. And as the next couple of weeks went by, other kids started to join him and they added their own dance moves. And I thought, this is it. This is the key to our marketing success. If I can only capture an image of what they're doing and put it on the internet, it will viralize. And all the young families of Fairfax County, Virginia will know that we have the perfect kid-friendly worship service. Well, I never could capture a good image because what they were doing wasn't photogenic. It was worship, not a performance. Jesus said, if we want to receive the kingdom of heaven, we have to receive it like children. And I think this is because children know how to worship, even if they don't know that's what they're doing. They live in a world of innocent wonder and delight until they lose their innocence, until they discover that they have a self that they need to protect and defend from other people. Then they enter into the world of performance, of image management, platform building, and brand development. And there's no space in which performance is more competitive than in religion. This is not a new thing. Jesus called it out in his day when he accused the religious leaders of his time of being performers. He warned the crowds about them saying, don't be like the performers who screw up their faces when they're fasting to let everybody know what a big sacrifice they're making. Don't be like the performers who announce it with trumpets whenever they give money to the poor so they can get a big round of applause. Don't be like the performers who always pray in public loudly and on street corners so that everyone can know how close they are to God. Jesus said all of these performers have received their reward in full. But I want you to do what you do religiously in secret so that your God can reward you in secret. So what is the secret reward that God has to give us? When we perform, there are many rewards. If we learn how to say the right thing and do the right thing and make sure that everyone else can see it, we're going to get standing ovations. We're going to get rewards like plaques. We're going to get people who want to be our Facebook friends, who want to invite us to their conferences to give speeches. But in the midst of all of these rewards and accolades, a single question inevitably haunts us. Does anybody really like me? See, when you're a performer, it's only natural that you suspect that everyone else is performing too. Which means that their flattery might be strategic. They might be just trying to build their platform off of your success. Who is sincere? Who really loves me? When you're a performer, no reward is good enough. There's really only one form of affirmation that we truly need. And it's the same still small voice that said to Jesus, you are my beloved son, in you I am well pleased. That voice is so hard to hear when our mind is cluttered with all of the criticisms and praises of the world. We have to empty ourselves to hear that voice that tells us we're beloved. 
when we can do that, when we're able to forget ourselves, to lose ourselves in the midst of worshiping God, then we can be the way that we were as children. Worship is a state of being of innocent delight. God wants to rescue us from being performers. Are you ready to worship him and accept his invitation?